educational company where she teaches people how to successfully trade the stock market. She owns the method, method she teaches and created, which is unique to the stock swoosh. The method is based on one strategy called Golden Gaps, which pinpoints institutional money in the stock market. She's also the executive producer and creator of her own television show, which is titled Make a Million with Melissa. Make a Million with Melissa is a what to do and how to do it television show on stock trading. She also appears on TV as an expert stock market analyst discussing the market, stocks, news, and world events on Fox News, Fox Business Network, RT America, Cheddar TV, and CBS News Corporation. I thank you so much for joining us, and I'm going to switch it over to you, my dear. I'm going to make you the presenter, and we will change you to an organizer. Can you see the slide? I do see your slide. Wonderful. Thanks so much for coming, everyone, today. No way. Again, if you have questions, you can just plop them in the room, and I can answer them for you. And it's a great day to talk about trading, to talk about shorts. I'm going to talk about gaps. I'm going to talk about institutional money as we go along today. And again, if you have any questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. And again, as Sherry said, I appear on TV to talk about a lot of things, mostly things that have to do with what? What's going on right now in the market? And there's a lot of things going on in the market right now. The market's scared about Russia, Ukraine, interest rates. We're trying to rally, then we're failing. So every single day I get up and I'm trying to look for the best stock to trade. That's what I do. I do prefer to short. A lot of people come to me and they want to trade and they want to trade for a living and they feel like, well, can this be done? The fact is that you can make money trading and you can do this for a living. However, in order to be a professional trader and to be successful, you have to win more than you lose. And a lot of people don't, okay? So you have to focus on a set strategy that is a high winning strategy. Again, you've got to get more winners than losers. This is our stats, the results for the whole year of 2022, uh, 605,054. This is with an average risk of 2,800. These were day trades. These were all day trades on margin, and most of these trades were shorts. There's a few longs that we did this year. Very, 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 very few. Most of the trades were shorts. I try to get out of the gate and do one thing a day and be done really quick in the first half hour of the day. So again, why people think, oh gosh, I've been trying to do this for so long. How do you become successful? get a good strategy that's point one okay because you're gonna lose if you don't have a strategy and if you're all over the place like buying every dip for example in this market this year you've lost okay you've had a losing year people are still trying to do that <clears throat> i can't even believe that people are actually still trying to do that but they are so it's about learning something that works that's consistently working in any given market and i say to people if you're upset about what's going on right now in the economy, inflation, higher cost of things, food, gas, everything else that we're buying that we need to live, you've got to take it upon yourself to empower yourself today to do something to change your current economic situation. What can you do? You can find another job or you can find extra money and decide to trade on the side and have income above and beyond your current job, okay? But many people find trading elusive, the success that they want, they always seem to almost be there, but then not quite. And a lot of it, again, like I said, has to do with the fact that they're not focusing on the right strategy. So what is a gap? We're going to talk about gaps today. That's my strategy. What is a gap? A gap is a difference between the close and the open. Simple. That's it. Okay? But you can't trade every gap. Okay? <laughs> Excuse me. So not every gap is a good gap or what I call a predictable gap. So take a look at this one here. The SPY closed here, gapped up, rallied. That was a week ago. So this was a bullish gap. What is this here? This is a bearish gap. Stock closed here, gapped down, fell. So we closed at one price at four o'clock and opened at a different price at 9.30. Closed at one price at 9.30, opened at a higher price at four. So again, stocks, have bearish gaps and bullish gaps. You can do both. Okay, I just happen to prefer to short. Okay, and I'm going to talk about why in a little bit here. But again, having that daily strategy just allows you to be focused 
like you're throwing a dart at a board to hit a bullseye. It's important in the morning to have no distractions. Got to turn your phone off. Don't look at the emails. You know, again, focus. Let's look at another chart here. This is a daily chart of Amazon. Again, what is a gap? A stock gaps when the closing price yesterday is different than the next day today. This is 4 o'clock. This is 9.30. We closed here, open lower, fell. Closed here, open lower, rally. So again, you can't short every bearish gap and you can't go long every bearish gap. You can't short every bearish gap and you can't go long every bearish gap either. So you're looking for the good ones. So in this case here, we fell. In this case here, we rallied. In this case here, we were up, rallied. See it? That was a week ago, a week and a half, Amazon. So again, what is a gap? A stock gaps when the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. Simple. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. That's it. Simple. Okay. But what is not simple is pinpointing and predicting the direction that the gap's going to go before, before it goes there. And that is what I do. And I've been doing this now for 14 years. I started trading in 2008. It took me over three years to develop my system. It's something that I do each and every day and call the live trades in a live trading room. We are also doing options and I will talk about some options today. But again, if you look at here at any one of these charts, Amazon, the SPY, the Qs, we've had what some would consider a very bearish year this year in the market in 2022. Unexpectedly, because we came right off the highs from the end of 2021 into the beginning of 2022, the SPY actually did make a new high this year at the beginning of the year. And then we just continued to fall off. We've had some huge trains this year to the downside. Amazon was one of them. What was another one that we did? Adobe. Here is another great example. The stock closed up here around 370, opened the next morning down here around 320. Where did it go? Fell, fell off a cliff, went to 300 down in here, broke, fell in the last week, all the way down, broke 280. Again, you could have done an option. You could have done a put, which is a short. You could have did a day trade here. We did both. But it was all based on the gap, all based on the rating system in the gap that allowed me to predict that this would in fact continue lower and not rally, okay? And any questions as we go along here, let me know. So how am I able to do this? I'm able to do this by looking at the footprints of institutional money that come in a stock. They come in and they come in full throttle. It's buying, big, big buying or selling or shorts, okay? So again, we're shorting when we're taking a position of stock. If you short a stock at $5 and it drops to $4 and you have 1,000 shares, what would you make? $1,000. The concept of shorting is actually a great concept. For some reason, a lot of traders, though, do prefer to go long. But you can't trade against institutional money. And as I said, this year, we've been falling. And many, many stocks have been falling as well. I just showed you a couple examples. You've got to trade with the power. You can't trade against it. It's very, very dangerous to do that, and you're setting yourself up to lose. So again, this has been a year where you've really had to be very careful with what you're doing, but quite frankly, I think you have to be careful all the time what you're doing taking a trade. What do I mean? Be thoughtful about the positions you take. Have a reason for doing it, okay? Don't just take pot shots. It, it shouldn't be about a 50-50. It should never be about a 50-50, actually. So again, as I was saying, I'm looking for institutional money and I'm spotting it and then I'm trading with it, which makes it a heck of a lot easier to make money then, okay? You can make money on a regular basis if you learn how to do this, whether you're doing options or day trades. I'm capturing these moves on a small time frame each and every single day. So a big flow of money going in a certain direction is really what moves the market stocks, creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. When you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. You want to be on the side of power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. Even if you think it's not there, it actually, actually is. And that is, again, where a lot of people get tripped up. They're convinced the market's higher, then we drop. They're convinced the market's lower, then they finally get in short, then we rally. You've got to get the timing right in these trades. Now this was one we did here as a chart, chart of Meta. This is Facebook, close here, gap down. Again, closed up here around 130, boom. Gap down here around 95, tanked, okay? There you can see the volume. 
Institutional money did what to Meta? They sold it. They dumped it. So again, if you're on the right side of that, you can see it's so easy to make money because you're in and they're pushing the stock down or they're pushing the stock up, okay? But knowing how to read what institutional money looks like is just essential to becoming a successful trader. So for me, it's about one focus, one thing all the time. One trade a day I try to do, maybe two, but I prefer to focus on one. So here was a put. We did this short, we did Apple. We did the 142 puts that expired on the 11th. I sent this trade out in an email at 740. You cannot take the trade then. I'm taking the trade into the open. But I saw this early in the morning that the trade would in fact fall and work. Cost was 350, number of contracts was 20, risk was 7,000 with an advanced trader risk. You could have risked less. You could have risked 1,050, took three. The nice thing about options is you could trade options on a cash account and you don't need margin. And you could take one contract, even hold it overnight, you would have been risking $350 and still could have made 129% on this trade. Now let's look at the chart. November 3rd, let me go back here, I called it. November 3rd is here. So again, this was a gap down. The stock close here gap down. Take it to the right. We shorted this. We did the put. We got in it. We did the 142s. And then you see where it fell, fell, dropped. Boom. Again, 24 to 48 hours. I'm looking to get in and out of something, usually in an option, if I can. You know, I prefer to get out of those the options quick, too. We are doing the weeklies. Okay, but this is a nice way, again, with a very small risk, if you're doing an option, paying $350 for one contract versus shorting the stock at the price point on margin. We did meta then on uh, November 2nd. I sent this out a little bit after the open. The 92 strikes, this cost 280. This is very reasonable. 79% return investment is a good trade. If you risked 80 for 100, you could have made 6,600. If you risked 1120, you could have made 880. Again, let's take a look at Meta. November 2nd is here. Stock close here, gap down, dropped, fell, boom, boom. Again, one, two, out, done. You see where we were right in here at 95. We did the 92s, it fell. See it? So again, you don't even have to have some huge Megalodon bar. Something like that with a precise entry can make you money, like on this, just getting the timing right, getting the momentum right when it's going to hit and go. Because that was like a medium-sized bar, actually, in Meta, okay? And again, any questions as we're going along here from anybody? Okay. So I hope I'm making my point that gaps have huge opportunity because they spot power money. They spot power money in the market, and that's very, very important, okay? And it is because you wanna make money and you don't wanna lose. So gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap in the first place. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and then confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Gaps are an event and create a sense of urgency. Hurry, 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 let's go. That kind of thing, all right? Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you are trading on the side of power money. Okay, so find gaps and rate them using a checklist. This is what I do. And if you came and decided you want to learn my method, I teach this in the class. It's a checklist. It tells you what to look for in the price of the stock. Okay, and that's important, actually. Again, we're looking at technical analysis. It's called advanced technical analysis. Okay. So again, it's, it's not a little bit of money. It's a lot of money, or what I call power money. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction. Trends are set and moved by the power money people, of which, quite frankly, there's a lot of in the market. There's a ton of in the market. And when you think about it, you're like, oh, yeah, this makes sense. A lot of things that I do do make sense. The fact is that when you're going, 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 okay, and you're, and you're going along, 
a lot of times I think people are doing stuff and they really don't even know why they're taking the trade. Again, they don't have a strategy. They're just buying something on a moving average or something like that, you know. Knowing why you're doing something, having a reason why you're doing something, fully, fully understanding why you think it's going to drop or why you think it's going to rally, it's so beneficial to you, not just for your, your account balance, okay, <laughs> but also for your conviction level, for your emotions, you know, so that you understand why you're doing it, that you might hold a trade a little bit longer, you know, and that you might squeeze a little bit more money out of it. Or wait if it's down till it goes and goes in your favor. So, you know, you have to understand why things are happening. It helps you. Again, not just your account, but also what's going on in your mind. This is a good example here, going back and looking what was happening in July. So in July, or in July of this year, the market had a big rally. And everyone thought for sure this was the low of the year in June. It, it, it lost it, lost the rally, fell, 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 came down here October 13th, made another new low for the year. Will we break this? We could, we could, we could break it today, tomorrow, next week, certainly before the end of the year. So again, you know, you've got to look at what's going on. Who's in charge? The bulls or the bears? If the bulls are in charge, you want to be long. If the bears are in charge, you want to be short, okay? But learning how to read that is what people come and learn from me because it's not just what's going on in the moving average. Make sense? <clears throat> and again, any questions, you can plop them in the room. But getting back to what I was saying, how do I figure all this out? I do it in the pre-market very early in the morning. The Golden Gap 26 point rating system is what I named my system. And it pinpoints the direction of power by reading the price action in a chart. You need conviction to make money trading and having a great system actually helps you do this. And again, if you have a small account, you could grow it. If you have a big account, you can grow it. You can trade with a small account. You can open up an options account with $2,000 cash. But if you don't want, know what to do, you're gonna lose money whether you have 100 grand in an account or $1,000 in an account. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you don't know what to do or don't have a good strategy, you're gonna lose whatever amount of money you have. So learning is critical, it's key to moving forward to your next level of success. And if you want to trade effectively, you cannot go with the crowd of day traders. That's one of the things that I always point out. You all have to have an edge. For me, my edge is shorty. For me, my edge is trading on the gap. For me, my edge is getting in right away, so very, very quickly, early in the morning, okay? Trying to capture the move to the downside and trading on the one minute chart. But remember, success requires a plan, a plan of action. Why are you going to do this thing here? Where are you going to do it? Where are you going to get in? Where are you going to get out? Have you so sized yourself properly? You know, it's like anything, you go and you want to take a, a, a trip, you go, to, you go get on a plane, <laughs> pilots have checklists. Everyone is checklists. It keeps you organized and focused. So I have a checklist, okay? Having a checklist keeps you organized and focused. Having a checklist forces you to look at what you should be looking at in a chart, in a stock, to make the correct decision. Having a checklist helps assist you with directional bias. And actually having a checklist keeps you on track to reach your goals. A checklist is a plan of action. Everyone that puts money into the market should have a plan of action and a checklist. On a professional level, all high income career field specialists have checklists in different industries. When you go to get surgery, that doctor has a checklist that goes through things. And by golly, you want him to go through that checklist before he operates on you, okay? <laughs> so it's very, very important to, to take what you're doing seriously, okay? As serious as if you were performing surgery. Like, that's serious. Because it's your own money, your hard-earned money, and you don't want to lose it. Okay, and not only that, you want to grow it. You know, like I was saying, that's the whole point, trying to grow it, grow your account, okay? Any questions here so far? I see some couple new people signing in. So we were talking about gaps, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go over here, one week of us trading gaps, these were all day trades, okay? These were trades on margin with an average risk of around $2,800 per trade. Again, we need a margin account to do these trades. We talked about options earlier. 
15,486. Let's go back and look at a whole week here. Again, I run a live trading room and I call the trades live in the room. This was 11.7 play of the day in Apple. We shorted it at 136.80. Shares was 1,800. Risk was 30.60. Exit was 135.68. This is a good move. A dollar out. Done. Boom. Profit was $2,016. What day was this? Let's go over here. Stock close here, gap down. We shorted it. We got in and out. Boom. Done. Quick in the morning and done. That's it. This doesn't even look like much, but we had such a precise entry and such a precise exit that it was great. It worked. Then at 11.4, no golden gaps. Wait for the good ones. Sometimes you get up in the morning, you shouldn't train. There's nothing to do. It's not, it's not there. Do you know what I'm saying? Back off. 11.3, entry was 262.20. Shares was 1,500. Risk was 31.50. Exit was 260.50. This was a beautiful trade. Actually kept going. Profit was 25.50. 11.3. Again, take it here and up. Closed here. Gap down fell. We shorted it. We did the Qs. We did the QQQs here. It gap down. We shorted it. Boom. Got in, got out. Pulled almost $2 out of that. Again, a dollar is a good move. $2. Okay. We're always looking for momentum. And again, these are all shorts, okay? Could have done an option in this if you didn't want to pay the price on margin here for this, though. What about the SPY? 11.2, we shorted the SPY. Again, short, short, shorts. Closed here, gap down, fell. Boom, got in, got out, done. 383.50, 1,500 shares. Or no, I'm sorry, this was this day. This was the third. You could have done the SPY that day. This was the second. Close here, gap down here. We got in and out here in the morning. This was the day the Fed had the announcement. We sure this morning we got out with profit, then it rallied up first with the Fed announcement, then it fell off a planet. So we were in and out of here early. Low of the day here was broke 375. Again, we were way, 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 way out of that before then. We pulled a little bit more than a dollar, 383.50, 382.30. Profit was 1800. That was a nice one there. Very, very nice, actually. Then an 11.1, we did one long. Crazy, because it closed red, but we went long here. Stock close here, gapped out, we went long Uber, boom. We got in it, and we got out of it, and we entered it at 30.30, and we exited with 60 cents, and that was enough. That was enough in here. So again, you're looking to get in and out very, very quickly in the morning. And then the biggest play we had was Meta, which I did talk about earlier. This was 1031, big fat red bar. Again, you could have done a put, you could have done the day trade. Stock close here, gap down, fell. Entry was 97.40. We did an ad because I saw it was going. I said, if you want to take more, you can. Average price was 97.30, exited at 94.90. $6,720, this is a great trade. One, we had a really good entry. Two, we did the ad. And three, we got the extension. Again, a red bar signifies what? Selling, shorting. The stock price is moving down. Again, shorting gives me an edge. Learning how to short gives me an edge. And a lot of people have struggled with that this year because they don't know how to short. If you don't know how to go long and short, you're missing out. Again, I do go long some days. I prefer to short. But you have to know how to do both things. Absolutely. Okay. Now, I drew this pie chart. This is very um, squiggly here. <laughs> but I drew this. And this depicts, okay, the amount of time that I spend really doing the prep work. Preparing to trade, trying to figure it out, rating the gaps, looking at everything in the morning, watching the market. Then I'm in and out here really quick. So I'm not in trades as long as I'm taking to think about doing them. So it's the time you spend before trading, really, that can be very beneficial to you that you can be in the trade less time. Again, it's about hitting the bullseye, accuracy. And the less time you're in a trade, actively have money at risk, guess what? The less chance you have of losing. Things could change. Things can always change. But if you're thinking about trading and you want to be consistent, or if you're trading right now and you're not seeing consistency, or if you're losing this year, 
The only way you're going to do well is number one, having a high winning strategy. Number two, good money management, critical. And number three, a good mentor to follow. While you could get away without that if you have a good strategy, I think having a mentor makes it a lot easier, particularly on days that are very volatile. And we've had some days like that this year. But timing is key. Again, I'm in and out very early in the morning for the fast trades and for the options, I still think I'm doing them fast too because we're doing the weeklies. You can trade from home, you could trade in an app, you could be working and have it on your computer part time. You can do this anywhere. The concept of trading is about chunking it out. You want to make more money. If you have more money coming in, you're not gonna be so bothered about inflation. You're not gonna be so bothered about the prices of things skyrocketing. You're gonna be okay. And you're gonna be able to take care of your family and yourself. And really that's what it's all about. And I think it's, it's just about getting to the point where you decide you're gonna do something different and then throwing yourself into it, acknowledging that it may be a challenge, but it's fun, it's exciting. There's, whenever you wanna to get to the next level in life, you have to take risk, period, end of story. You're not gonna be able to change your life if you're not willing to take risk. If you're unhappy with your life or your trading or your finances or the amount of money you're making right now, the only person that can change that is you. And so you have to decide yourself if you're willing to do something to change your life. It takes courage to do that, I get it. It takes risk. Many times it also takes spending money to actually get to the point where you're making more money. You ever heard that you have to spend money to make money? That's what it is. Whether it's paying for a class like mine, whether it's risking money in a trade, and preferably both. The thing is that when you can, if you can see into the future about your own life and say you fast forward 12 months from now, week before Thanksgiving 2023, where do you wanna be? If you can envision that for yourself, if you can actually visualize for that, that for yourself, you can manifest it for yourself to have a better life one year from now and more money in the bank than you do right now. And I think people tend to have difficulty with that, especially if they're not happy with what's going on right now in their current situation. But you and only you can get yourself out of it. I'm a support system for people. They come to me, I teach them. And I'm helping them each and every day in the room. I'm a support system. But the reality is that it's you that has to make the decisions to do it. And sometimes people say, well, I, I've been working so hard. I've been studying, studying, studying. Yeah, listen, sometimes the work is studying to get to learn something. Sometimes it's that. But sometimes the work is the emotional work. And guess what? Sometimes that is the hardest thing for people to do. They can't let go of mistakes they made in the past, bad decisions and trades, losses, whatever. Classes they took that didn't learn anything and they spent money. The reality is let it go, move forward. We're into the end of this year and looking forward to a new year. Embrace the, the coming year, 2023, okay? And, and look forward to it. So many people are so down about what's happening right now, not only in the world, the economy. You know, we can't live our lives being, oh, you know, everything's so bad, so bad. We have to do what we can to actually improve the quality of our own lives. And, and that's what it is, because you're not gonna change the certain circumstances that are happening outside of yourself. Any questions here? So empower yourself to train. You can do it. I teach a class once a month, it's called the Golden Gap. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, which again is important. So it is a two-day course, a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. I do this class once a month. It's called the Golden Gap Course. There's only one more class left this year. It's December 10th and 11th. My class is always on a weekend, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Class tuition is $69.99. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Again, the class is online. Now, because we're getting into the holiday, I started the Black Friday special early for the people here at the webinar if you want to take advantage of it. You can take advantage of this. You can sign up and join. Every sale is going on through November 27th, okay? So the Golden Gap Course Combo is $74.99. You will get two classes. The Golden Gap course, which is a two-day class, and the Trends course, which is a half-day class. You will also get the trading room free for one year and the options newsletter subscription free for one year, in case you want to do both the day trades and the options. And you will get those free if you sign up for the class, the combo, by 11:27. And again, class dates are the 10th and 11th, and the Trends is the 13th. 
Now, if you only want to do options, I have a Black Friday sale on this. You get one bonus month, save $1,000, and you get the newsletter through the end of 12-31-2023, and you also will receive the Gap Options course free, which is on December 15th. Night, uh, it is 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. That is on Thursday. So if you want to just do options, this is just on options, okay? And then I am running specials on everything else. The market report, the trends course, the wealth manifestations class, the entries course, live mentoring sessions. If you'd like to do them with me, there's no prerequisites. The gap options course as well. And this includes one month free of the gap options newsletter. It's $1,500 for the sale price. This is a great, great price. And you get one month free of the newsletter. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? The best value, the best deal is the combo. Again, the class is normally $69.99. You pay to be in the room with the options letter. You're going to get two classes for $74.99 and the room free for a year and the options newsletter free for a year. So does anyone have any questions about anything I said today? I seem we're a little bit, I'm done a little early. I can pull up my charts here. Now, I don't know if I have to stop and repress it. Um, can anybody see the spy or do I have to stop and start in? Yes, no, we can see it. You're, it looks good. Okay. Any questions of that? First of all, does anyone want to ask me about anything? Any chart, anything, anything about the market while I pulled it up? Since we have a couple minutes here. Or anything about it just said. We did gap down today. So I figured I'm still talking here with you. I may as well just go over this here briefly since we're falling. We're dropping today. So I will tell you right now, we shorted the market. We shorted the market today in the live trading room. We shorted the market and I called a put. The market was gapped down today. I liked it. I liked it to drop. We're red. It's 1.33 in the afternoon and we have two and a half hours left in the day. While that doesn't seem like a lot of time, it actually is a lot of time for what? For selling. So we were talking about, I prefer to short. What is one of the reasons I prefer to short? Because selling happens fast and quick and big and a lot faster than moves to the upside. Again, while I will go long, things happen when panic comes into a stock of the market. It can go like that. The market could drop between now and four o'clock, some crazy, 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 crazy number because it has two and a half hours left to go. I don't know if that happens, that it goes crazy, but it could. I know it is dropping, okay? So let's look at what happened today. So yesterday was 11.15. We opened up. Actually, we closed at 398.49 and then we opened at 396.78 today. And we shorted this. We got in, we shorted it, and we're falling. Now let's look at the cues. Here we go. Look at this. This is happening while we're talking. This is beautiful. Beautiful. So again, I saw this morning very, very early that the market would fall today. I saw it in the morning early. I went through the rating system. Then we opened the room. Then we did the short. Then I called the options. And again, you could still be in these things. You could have been out quick in the morning or you could still be in them. So again, we had a gap down here in the QQQs as well. Closed at 289.39. Closed here, gap down, boom. Open at 287.39, two dead. And again, where could we go? lower again selling happens so fast the only way that we'd move up here today is if somebody institutional money would come in and buy the market or go long and as it seems to be guess what that is not happening retail trainers keep trying to buy every dip and it's not working you had that here in the lunch period here we had people coming in to try to buy the dip it didn't work it didn't hold we were already fell in the morning we're falling again right now and again, you know, I like to short because panic comes in quick to a stop, really, really fast, and it moves very quickly. Now let's look at another one here. Tesla gap down again today too, as you can see. Stock closed here, gap down, closed here at 194.42, open here at 191.51, closed here, gap down, boom. Look at it. This looks lower too. Let's look at Apple since that's a big one that affects the market. Apple is sitting its butt right here on support, but it did gap down today. It absolutely, absolutely, absolutely did. Let's look at Amazon. Let's see what's happening with that. This is kind of squirrely here. 
looks like this gap down in the morning fell, rallied, ran all the way up to 98.48, and now this is starting to fall too. So again, what's gonna happen here between now and four o'clock? Looks like selling to me, wherever it goes. But again, this could go somewhere crazy. Really, 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 really crazy. Where do I mean? Well, again, we could go to 390. So the market right now, the SPY is trading at 394.48 and change. Could we drop $5 like that? Yeah, we didn't even need two and a half hours to do it. It could happen in 15 minutes. It could happen in a half an hour. And the QQQ is right in here at 285.82. Could drop to 280 today before the close. Two and a half hours is forever for something to move down. And that's, again, again, why I like to focus on the short side. Because you can get big moves fast. And today is a day where, again, even though I like to get it out quick, you could have held today. You could have held today because you, could, you might actually get a bigger move here today into the close than this morning. But anyways, if anyone is interested in any of the Black Friday sales, feel free to email me. I'll put my email here again in the room. It's a great time of the year to learn and get organized and prepared for what? For 2023. So, you know, if you're doing something that isn't working right, reach out if you have questions. You can always email me or call me with questions. Feel free to do that. I appreciate everyone coming today. I appreciate you having me, Sherry. Any questions? Hey, Melissa. Me? Yeah, I love it. Hey, we do have a question from Carla. She's asking, is this buying stocks only or do you use options? I do use options too. I don't know if, if uh, the person was here earlier. I talked about options earlier. I had some examples in the in the webinar earlier today. Yes. So okay. just to just Okay, to so we just need to hit that replay. Yeah, we the, basically you can do if you have something like the cues. This is a little bit pricey and I'm in the trading room. While I do call margin trades in the trading room, you could buy a put. But I also have an options newsletter. An options newsletter is where the newsletter gets emailed to you. It's not a trading room for the options. It's a newsletter. It goes right out to you. And so you would have gotten the trades this morning that I did call in the market because at 924 this morning, I did call a 395 strike in the SPY and I called a 285 strike in the Q. So those trades are going here. Okay. So you could have done the options and you could have done the day trades. You could have done both. The, again, the advantage of doing options is that you don't need a margin account or if something's really expensive and you have a margin account you don't have to suck up all your money or need xyz amount of money to take it so whatever you pay for something is whatever it is and you can hold something so again if we don't fall off a cliff today we might fall off a cliff thursday or friday remember it's only wednesday we have a lot of economic data that's out tomorrow morning the unemployment uh, claims are always Thursday morning. There's so much going on right now in the world. I mean, it's just so much going on right now. And so it's really important for people to know what to do if you're trading. Any other questions? Anything else? Speak now, folks, or you'll need to email <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> you, can, you can always email me. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Sherry. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. How much does the service cost? The service for the options newsletter is normally $69.99 a year, seven grand. I'm doing a Black Friday special, which is $59.99, and it will take you till the end of 2023. So you actually get more than 12 months. The class itself, the Black Friday special is $74.99 for two classes, and you get the options newsletter for one year free and the trading room. If you'd like more specific information, Carla, or information to sign up, you can always email me at melissathestockswish.com or go to my website, www.thestockswish.com. All prices are listed there and all the information about all the classes and services I offer. Perfect. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe That's and wonderful. have a great holiday. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas if we don't see you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, too. <laughs>